one, it's grocery haul day. Today we went to Walmart and Aldi, but it's also tax free back to school season. So we actually took some of our normal budget for like shopping for the week, which we combine like everything, like all of our household goods, uh, groceries and gas all are went in one household shopping budget. So like we kind of took some of that and set it aside for purchases for like, we tried to buy one, at least one, today my goal was to buy at least one clothing item per person um and then and one got two but it was the same price as one of the items that one of the other ones purchased and and then allow them to pick out some school supplies which you already seen that in the haul yesterday but because that grocery is a little bit different i may wait until thursday or friday to post the members only meal plan post because honestly I went with little to no meal plan in mind for this week. I just went and bought things within my grocery budget that I could make meals with. And that kind of scares me because I would prefer to go in with the meal plan. But I'll show you at the end of the week what we did with what we purchased. And then also, uh, you know, try to make possibly a list of like what we purchased and then a list of what we already had on hand to be able to do this. Because like this is the reason why we stock up is so like we can make these meals or whenever we have weeks like this and we need a little less grocery budget, we can still make meals with stuff that's at home and with a few extra things from the store. So as you can see, most of this is like fresh stuff, frozen stuff. Um, there's two pan or three pantry items right there. That's pretty much it from Aldi. This is literally all Aldi right here. And then I'll show you Walmart in a second. So let's just start in the back and work our way forward. Two loaves of split top wheat bread. We've kind of been cutting back on carbs and especially gluten ones um, for a while because None of us have a major gluten allergy, but some of us have gluten sensitivity. But with this week, with just needing a little bit lower budget, and also it just kind of changes up the variety a little bit because we can still have it. We just can't have it like every day. So like that's going to help for this week. And yeah, that's not for every day. And I still needed two loaves for six people for three meals a day and dessert. So yeah. Anyway, so I went ahead and picked up two loaves of split top wheat bread. Eggs were down to 88, 89 cents a dozen at our Aldi this week. And that's the first time since 2022 we've seen them that low. So I was like, you know what? I could do a lot with eggs this week. So I picked up two dozen eggs. We also picked up one bottle of honey mustard, two boxes of rotini. Our Aldi no longer offers the tricolor rotini. They only offer the uh, enriched macaroni rotini. I don't know why. I'm trying to keep all the dairy over here and keep this one as far away from the dairy as possible. But um, one gallon of 2% milk. Sorry guys, no orange juice this week because again, budget. One package of sliced pepper jack cheese. One block of Monterey Jack. One block of Colby. Is it Colby Jack? No, it's just Colby cheese. Uh, two bags of frozen broccoli florets. This is the only thing that didn't fit. We're going to be able to show all of you at the same time. Um, I did pick up one pack of the six fillets of the uh, beer batter cod fillets. This is one of the reasons why I'm thankful for vegan products at Aldi because of my lactose free one. She can still have dessert tonight without having to take a lactase supplement, which the more she takes them, the less they work. So I wanted to give her a lactose free option since we have leftover ice cream and birthday cake from my birthday at home tonight. So I wanted to get her something that was lactose free though and she picked it out. It's coconut milk raspberry cheesecake. If you ask me on like Instagram, I'll probably, or maybe in the comment buzz of this video by now, you'll know because I film these on Friday and you see them on Tuesday. So, um, ask me and I'll let you know if she liked or not. Because some of their coconut milk stuff is weird. It's either not sweet, doesn't really have as much of the flavor that they name, like raspberry cheesecake. Sometimes it doesn't taste like raspberry cheesecake. Ask me in the comments, I'll let you know. Two bags of the seasoned french fries. We like the seasoned ones better because they cook different, number one. Number two, it's just a lot easier when they're already on there frozen with them on there so it's just, it's just easier for our family two bags of the california medley one package of the rotisserie chicken uh chicken deli meat i like these because there's two separate packages because you can open one package on the first part of the week and the second package on the second part of the week and that way you're not like having lunch meat spoil on you one bag of baby carrots and that's it for all these let me put this away and then i will show you walmart from walmart because crazy weekend we're going to go ahead and pick up three pieces for our pizza friday um the first two are thin crust the supreme and the spinach alfredo the spinach alfredo is a white sauce one so i can have it the supreme i may probably won't be able to have it um and then there's also a stuffed crust chicken bacon and ranch and this uses ranch instead of marinara sauce so that one's really fun and the stuffed crust with it this one's one of my favorite stuffed crust ones of the same choice brand and i switched to these just because 
it's hard to find a pizza that it's when you cook it from frozen the crust actually gets done and the toppings are good and not burnt on top this one actually does that like some of the other ones they don't do that when they're cooking this one does that as you guys remember last week when i started filming and if not i'll include a clip right here i'm gonna have to find more lactose free options is that ice cream broken that ice cream is broken and i didn't know it and oh joy okay we'll deal with that in a minute so yeah that happened so instead of you know just throwing it out because that was an expensive ice cream um which honestly this is one of the cheapest ice creams that walmart had we were i'm wanting to do like one ice cream dessert a week during the summer because in the winter we'll have to cut back even more on our grocery budget and it's hot right now and we're fixing to start a two-week summer vacation because we take two weeks between our summer and fall semester so i wanted to have ice cream so i went ahead and just swapped out for the one they had this got pushed in a minute ago when i accidentally dropped it i am not doing well with ice cream in this house but this is the hudsonville brownie batter cookie dough um i'll mention it here some of you may or may not have any idea what i'm talking about but uh there's a there is a uh, hermit craft minecraft youtube streamer called tango tech he has a wife that's called mrs tango she does some uh streaming and gaming stuff too and she talks about food a lot she recently had talked about the hudsonville mackinac fudge ice cream and we tried it. it was really good so i've switched to liking a lot of their brand ones so i picked up a brownie batter one for us last week but like you just saw in the clip that one was not going to be eaten in my house because there are some things that if, if it's damaged slightly i'll buy it but that was one i didn't know no 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 so i went ahead and swapped it out at the store they had no problem with it whenever i was like yeah this happened they're like oh yeah just go get another one so swapped it out they had no problem with it um and like i left it in my freezer for a week they still didn't care so because they were gonna have to throw it out anyway so i just picked out the one i wanted uh, vanilla caramel this is the creamer that kind of matt and i meet in the middle one i prefer creamers that have a lot more taste to them like um in the fall i do pumpkin spice i do the peppermint mocha in the winter um before they clearanced it out i really like their blueberry cobbler one as well i like their um there's a cookie one that starts with an s um i don't remember what it's called it's in my fridge it's not in my fridge i finished it off anyways i like that one as well but i will do this one and sometimes just add tarani syrups to it like the sugar-free ones but it's fine this goes really well with the vanilla vanilla caramel coffee pods that we buy um honey breast tenders last time i bought two bags i'm like the bags are smaller they're not going to feed us enough but when we have this with pizza because matt likes having more protein with his pizza to balance out the carbs i know this is covered in carbs but it, it, it works for him so anyways we always do chicken with him when we do pizza with him and one bag actually did us just fine with the pizzas and the chicken so we just bought one bag this week ramen noodles because they're just a staple when we're a little bit tighter on our budget and also sometimes we don't even use like it normally because we're a family of six we don't make one packet of ramen at a time and if we do it's rare <laughs> but most of the time we're cooking for our family we don't even use all of the salt that comes in these packets we just use our own salts and seasonings and whatever and then we also add like other things to it to also dilute some of the salt like vegetables or meat or something i am normally not a name brand person i'm not i'm normally not like i have to have this name brand i'm just not that person i'm fine buying the off brands the off brands the reason why i specifically get the cascade platinums and why i switch to those is it is the only pod i have found that works for our dishwasher so let me show you my dishwasher real quick they've started emptying it our little grogu magnet this is in our amazon affiliate it's cute grogu vader it's on grogu right now because there's still some clean dishes in here our dishwasher stainless steel on the inside we have found some people said put the pods in the bottom if we put the pod in the bottom it dissolves on the first wash and this thing does multiple washes and then my dishes on the top rack and the oh it is completely empty the dishes on the top rack and third rack do not get clean so i need a pod that actually still worked in these the cascade for us for this dishwasher the lg quad wash we have found that the cascade platinum still work in the detergent department wash our dishes really well and also um doesn't leave any streaky residue which is why we switched from the liquids because yeah the liquids are cheaper but they were leaving streaky residue and lime deposits in our dishwasher so i don't know if that's one of the reasons why our last mo one the motor burnout was because like for the first year we used the liquid and then like after a year we started noticing the lime deposits in it and started trying to deep clean it out and all that and maybe some of it broke loose and got in the motor i don't know but 
that's why. That is why we're specifically using that one. The gain detergent is because we noticed that any other detergent we use other than tighter gain, the clothes were fading and they just didn't feel clean when they came out. The gain ones, I've used multiple scents. We usually use like a daytime scent and a nighttime scent. The nighttime scent is for towels and bedding and then the daytime scents for everything else. Also like if I do a load of like softening pajamas with the conditioner trick um, that I just recently did a reel on. I don't know if I've uploaded it yet or not, but I did a real like, um, no, I did a video on it. I did a cleaning video on it. Um, but the softening trick, I'll also wash them in the nighttime detergent. But we do like gain and that's why, because like it's the one that gets, for our budget, it's the one that works the best. And that's why we do it. And again, so one of the reasons why I show grocery hauls is to have those little talks sometimes like showing you all. There are some things that we'll make sacrifices for to buy things that are best for our family. Gain also has not reacted to any of us with like skin allergies and things so and that's why we did it and like again for the cascade platinum it was the one that was not going to turn my dishwasher up and still have clean dishes to eat off of to enjoy all the yummy food that's it for today's video thank you again to our members for supporting this content there will be a members only post probably not until thursday or friday showing how we use this plus what was at our home and i'll make a separate list of what was what we already had that we used and then what we bought that we used and then show you guys the meal prime breakfast lunch dinner desserts and snacks and thank you to all of you even if you can't support us as a member i understand that i understand not everybody can thank you for watching anyways because you're liking your positive comments you're subscribing still helps us and it also encourages me to just keep going and we will see you guys next time found one last bag from walmart after i'd already started the washer so it's going to be obnoxious we have one box of the reynolds kitchen wrap uh, cookie baking sheets i just feel like we waste parchment paper a lot less using the sheets and it's just easier for my kids to use so that's one of the things i will sacrifice to do propels it's almost like you have to get name brand with some of this stuff propels we do like the immune support ones and we do seem to we we think that they're helping plus it gives him a couple more vitamins in his system this is the orange raspberry it takes two packs per day for him while he's working in 110 degree heat that's how hot it is in his plant he it's not actually 110 degrees here it's like 80s to 90s most days um the crush pack this is the variety pack the drinks i bought from matt for this week so there's 12 orange nine grape and nine strawberry we really really like these we have a recipe video somewhere of making um low carb something another what did we use i don't remember we have a low carb drink recipe though that uses either the lemon or the orange with this really really good and then also in the summer when it's hot he doesn't like to drink coffee while he's on his way to work or at work because it's already 110 degrees at his work so the mio energies i picked out for him this week were the tropical fusion and the aki berry storm and we're done <music>